What's going on? I'm down here in Chile, about 36 degrees latitude south in the Andes at an elevation of roughly 5,800 feet. And I'm here with one of the coolest mycoheterotrophic plants, that means it parasitizes fungi, that I've ever seen. This is Arachnitis uniflora, and it's in the family Corsiaceae, which is in the order Liliales. You can see it's just about finishing up flowering. It's got six tepals. One is folded over. It looks like that ovary uh, is uh, swelling up. It's already uh, been pollinated. No idea what pollinates. It's wonder if it's fungus gnats, like so many other mycoheterotrophs get pollinated by. You can see it's got a vestigial leaf right there that it does, uh, is not photosynthetic. Probably probably doesn't even have genes for chlorophyll anymore. It's an achlorophyllous leaf. This is an achlorophyllous plant. It's parasitizing fungi in the genus Glamis, which is especially weird because most mycoheterotrophs tend to parasitize ectomycorrhizal fungi. That is, uh, you know, generally basidiomycetes or ascomycetes. Glamis is in the glomeromycota, the arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi. There's another one back there. Looks like it's having a hard time. I don't know what it's doing. These things are weird as hell already. Anyway, the family Corsiaceae has three genera in it. This is one of them. This is the only species in the genus Arachnitis. The other two genera are uh, found primarily in Australasia, and uh, there's not even many observations of them on INET. Anyway, an incredible plant, somewhat common here, and uh, certainly parasitizing uh, the fungus that is associated with this uh, southern beech tree above me in the genus Nathophagus. So there you go. Arachnitis uniflora. A wonderful, beautiful bastard. A beautiful weirdo, everybody. That's all I got. Have a great day. Go fuck yourself. Bye.